The ABC medical drama The Good Doctor is returning for Season 7, but the latest news sees release delays, cast changes and more. Season 7 will address cliffhangers from the previous season, and let's see more about the moving series. After months of waiting, the popular medical drama series The Good Doctor on ABC has received a favorable renewal for a seventh season. In The Good Doctor, Freddie Highmore plays Dr. Sean Murphy, a young autistic surgeon with savant syndrome, as he advances his medical career and makes an effort to lead a fulfilling personal and social life. Sean has a few eccentricities and can come across as cruel because of his diagnosis. But throughout his residency at the San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital, he becomes friends with a number of medical professionals who support him. Similar to several medical dramas like ER and Grey's Anatomy, The Good Doctor has had its fair share of heartbreaking main character exits and deaths. The story is extended beyond the hospital's internal operations and into Sean's personal life, encompassing his union with Leia in Season 5 of The Good Doctor and the birth of their kid in Season 6. Nonetheless, the program is a team effort, with each character having a compelling storyline. Since Season 6 of The Good Doctor concluded with several significant cliffhangers, viewers are excitedly anticipating Season 7. Chokomoto will be back in The Good Doctor Season 7, among other news that will be revealed as the highly anticipated return of the program draws closer. When Season 1 ended, Modu's character was dismissed from the hospital and replaced by Dr. Jared Kalu. Though the specifics are still unknown, Modu is back as a regular cast member and Dr. Kalu will feature in the narrative once more. In other news is, the final season of The Good Doctor has officially been confirmed. Sean and the rest of the team will be riding off into the sunset after becoming one of the network's most successful shows, according to a teaser ad that ABC aired. The Good Doctor Season 7 release date Despite the fact that The Good Doctor's autumn premiere was pushed back due to the Hollywood strikes, the seventh season of the show will still premiere on February 20, 2024. The Good Doctor is the latest of a long line of popular ABC shows that were postponed until early 2024 beyond the fall season. The Good Doctor Season 7 cast The news of several characters exiting on the eve of the newest episodes of The Good Doctor Season 7 is maybe the most shocking. The actor Brandon Larracunt, who plays Danny, will be leaving The Good Doctor following Season 6. It has been confirmed. It's unclear whether other members of The Good Doctor cast will change, but Hill Harper probably won't be returning for Season 7 given his decision to run for the Senate. Positive news? A number of returning performers will be joining Freddie Highmore in his role as Dr. Sean Murphy. These actors include Richard Schiff as Dr. Aaron Glassman, William Lee as Dr. Alex Park, Cho Kumoto as Dr. Jared Kalu, Fiona Gubelman as Dr. Morgan Ridsnick, Christina Chang as Dr. Audrey Lim, Pate Spara as Leah Delalo Murphy, Noah Galvin as Dr. Asher Woke, and Bria Henderson as Dr. Jordan Allen. ABC has officially stated that The Good Doctor would conclude after Season 7 even as the release date approaches. Despite being depressing, the news isn't entirely unexpected given the significant life circumstances Sean has recently dealt with. Sean and his peers have matured sufficiently over the show's nearly 10 years on the air to end on a positive note, even though a strong finale is still anticipated from the last season. The Good Doctor Season 7 Story Details A number of significant cliffhangers from The Good Doctor Season 6 should be resolved early in the 7th. Watchers should see Sean and Leia welcome their baby home, with Sean unavoidably questioning Glassman's motives for missing the delivery. In addition, San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital will have to cope with the fallout from two significant deaths. Dr. Andrews, who resigned from the board to focus on his love for Nurse Villanueva. And Dr. Perez, who departed to seek treatment for his opiate addiction. Sean's journey into fatherhood and the new president's plan to alter San Jose St. Bonaventure Hospital appears to be the main storylines that the good doctor will revolve around. Sean isn't the greatest at handling changes in transition, so both these occurrences will cause a significant amount of upheaval in his life. Overall, it looks like Season 7 of The Good Doctor will be amongst the most dramatic to date. Why many series like The Good Doctor are cancelling after the seventh season? The popular long-running scripted shows that will be ending this year include the medical drama starring Freddie Highmore, ABC's Station 19, CBS's Young Sheldon, Blue Bloods and SWAT, and the CBS Paramount Plus SEAL team, 
All of them, with the exception of the venerable Blue Bloods, made their broadcast debuts in 2017-2018 and will conclude after seven seasons. In addition, two new shows debuted in 2017-2018, The Resident, which concluded its six-season run on Fox, and 911, which will move to ABC for season 7. With six of them reaching season 7, the class 2017-18 is comprised of seven scripted programs that lasted for at least six seasons. This is an achievement that is unlikely to be duplicated. Given the shrinkage in the linear TV market brought on by decreasing viewership and growing financial pressure, fewer series orders would result in fewer hits because television is a numbers game. The longevity of some of those hits would therefore probably shortened by traditional media organizations' heavy emphasis on their balance sheets. To make matters worse, with most final seasons consisting of 10 episodes, fans will be treated to truncated epilogues of their beloved series as a result of the double Hollywood strike. With a final season of 14 episodes, Young Sheldon is a notable exception. Blue Bloods will produce 18 episodes divided into two halves. Young Sheldon, a spin-off of The Big Bang Theory, and Station 19, a spin-off of Grey's Anatomy, were the two of the 17, 2017-18 shows to reach six seasons. That also won't happen again as networks increasingly place their money on spin-offs from successful franchises or reboots of well-known intellectual properties in an effort to reduce risk and gain an advantage in marketing and public recognition. With regards to spate of cancellations, one source stated, a lot of it comes down to budgets for most series. In the past, networks were required to cover the entire cost of production and the end of a series. However, in the current corporate climate, networks have been effectively resisting this requirement and rarely do so. As a result, television shows in season 6 are exceedingly costly to license for networks and occasionally costly for studios to maintain a deficit. Furthermore, the normal six-year contracts for series regular actors are sometimes extended to seven years through age negotiations after season two or four. As a result, many shows must negotiate new cast agreements after season seven, which come with talent expectations for significant pay rises. Even if every choice to terminate a show has to do with saving costs, a number of industry insiders emphasize that the death of every long-running show has its own set of conditions. A linear series can be made or broken based on rating performances. This season, every season broadcast or series concluded in the top 40 most watched entertainment shows on TV, proving that it is no longer the case. Young Sheldon and Blue Bloods were in the top four. It's all about the money, y'all, SWAT actor Shimar Moore said in a response to the show's cancellation prior to its season 7 renewal. Even after seven seasons, the answer might still be yes with a smashing hit like Young Sheldon, which is the most watched comedy on broadcast TV and the third most watched on non-sports program overall. However, Young Sheldon has been gradually approaching the events in the Mothership series as a precursor to The Big Bang Theory and the creators utilized the most recent three-season renewal to plot a fitting resolution. CBS got the next best thing a young Sheldon successor for the upcoming season in the form of a spin-off series focusing on the characters of Georgie and Mandy. Even though I understand more young Sheldon wasn't actually up for the negotiation between the network and the studio. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, then don't forget to hit that like button below. And if you want to stay updated with more great content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button